Pakistan's ousted Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's family have been issued a non bailable warrant by an anti-corruption court today. Sharif today appeared before the accountability court for hearing on three corruption references filed against him and his family. The non bailable warrant was issued for his daughter Mariam, sons Hussein Hassan and son-in-law Mohammad Sabdar. The court postponed the indictment of Sharif on charges of corruption in the Panama Papers scandal. Sharif and his kin have been summoned for the next hearing on October. But ninth, so far there is no confirmation as to when the indictment will take place. Sharif's children have been named in the case and are currently in London with their mother, who is diagnosed with cancer and is undergoing treatment. Sharif was removed from office in July following corruption allegations against him and his family members. In Pakistan's 70-year history, he is the 15th premier to be ousted before completing a full term. Let's go straight across to our correspondents in Islamabad and London. Joining us is our Islamabad Bureau Chief Taha Siddiqui, also our London Bureau Chief Mandy Clark. First to you, Taha, give us a sense of what the court has observed today. Well, uh, basically, uh, the the uh, Prime Minister, Nava, uh, former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, he presented himself in, uh, early in the morning at the courts. Uh, but uh, because of, uh, the, you know, he's not the only one who has these charges of references against him for the National Accountability Court, his children, three of his children, including his two sons and his daughter, and his uh, son-in-law, who's uh, married to Marib Nawaz, uh, all, they were not present and they were supposed to also come. So they, the, the court decided that all four of them, uh, plus Nawaz Sharif, they will indict them together. So because of which, uh, and, but uh, you know, the, the lawyer of Nawaz Sharif said that uh, the children are right now with the mother uh, who's undergoing treatment, so they cannot present themselves in the courts. Uh, and because of which the court deferred the hearing till 9th of October and issued uh, non-bailable arrest warrants of the two sons and the son-in-law saying that uh, they have to be here and they have to be arrested and brought in front of the court uh, for the next hearing so that they could be indicted for it. Uh, the court did not issue a non-bailable arrest warrant for the daughter, saying that it's understandable that uh, the daughter may need to be there for the mother who's, under, who's undergoing recovery right now in, in London. Uh, and now, so basically, uh, yeah, the, the next hearing on 9th of October, uh, the two children and son-in-law, uh, along with Nawaz Sharif, all of them have to present themselves in front of the courts uh, if they want to avoid uh, arrests. Right, coming to you, Mandy Nawaz Sharif's uh, children who've also been named in the case are currently in London with their mother who is uh, diagnosed with cancer in, and is undergoing treatment. Any reactions that have been reported in the local media coming in uh, from the children? Well, I'm currently outside one of um, the three families. They, we know that um, Maryam said her husband would be willing to go back uh, to London, but there's been no word from the sons whether they will or they are planning to attend court. Of course, uh, they're being contempt of court if they don't show up, but they are attending to their, their mother who is um, uh, t taking cancer treatment in London. Uh, what will be important is whether the sons feel that it's safe enough for them to return. Right, saving me please, Mandy Taha. Also, you know, the case as we've been uh, tracking the latest that's coming in, we've been closely monitoring the developments. It's been uh, a difficult period for Pakistan also as a result of this uh, indictment. Of course, uh, to court's observations today also spell uh, deeper trouble for Nawaz Sharif's family. Taha? Yes, uh, can you repeat the question, please? Taha, I'm talking about how we have, of course, uh, tracking the case very closely. This is uh, the court's observation today, of course, spells deeper trouble for Nawaz Sharif's family. Uh, we've seen how uh, this has been an, a, a complete uh, period of absolute uncertainty for Pakistan as a result of the Panama Papers scandal following which Nawaz Sharif was ousted. It's been a period of political uncertainty as well, even after uh, the interim prime minister was appointed. The kind of uh, a back and forth that's taken place as a result of this case. 
Uh, definitely, I mean, from what we uh, from what we see, and the, uh, the you know, the, it is still the ruling party, though the PMLA and the Nawaz Sharif uh, party, uh, they still have a majority in the parliament. They still have are enjoying, uh, you know, a, a, a parliamentary sort of you know form of government that they are running, not just in the federation but also in the Punjab province. The brother is running it, so there are goods and the bad in the family. But definitely, as far as the Nawaz Sharif's own family is uh, concerned, you know himself. His uh, three children, his son-in-law, uh, they are all under under a lot of scrutiny, under a lot of pressure. But despite that, there's some sort of respite that is on the cards right now. For example, uh, you know, the the uh, the Senate recently just passed a bill uh, which uh, sort of says that you know Nawaz Sharif can become uh, the uh, the party head once again. And in that sense, uh, you know, uh, earlier on he had, when he was disqualified, he had to be removed from the position of being a party head also. But now the Senate has approved a bill where they're saying that anybody, even if disqualified by the court, can still be a party head. And we are getting to know that maybe today or tomorrow uh, he will he will get to you know he will be re-elected as the party head. So he will have that control of the party. The party is pretty much the, the political party is pretty much you know uh, intact right now. The, the the seats that they have, the majority that they enjoy in the parliament, that's all. All of them is working in favor of them. But as far as the national accountability court is concerned or the judiciary is concerned, they, are, they, they will have to face uh, a tough challenge up ahead.